The 2013 Wings to Fly Scholar Selection Exercise started with the training of the District Scholar Selection Board DSSB members to be involved in the exercise. The process kicked off a few days after the announcement of the 2012 Kenya Certificate of Primary Education KCPE results. First was heavy publicity on radio, places of worship, barazas, and in schools calling on candidates to collect forms at equity bank branches and agents countrywide to apply for the Wings to Fly scholarships. We have been seeing it in the media, in the TV, and so on. Today we are being told that you can also be eligible to join the Wings to Fly. In the coast region in Ganze is a beneficiary of the Wings to Fly program. Simeon Menza hails from Zikunze where the community largely depends on farming, often affected by drought. In the last season, the maize crop aborted when rains failed. Farming is starting to follow as evident from the meager harvest. Menza attended Zikunze Primary School where he was index 1 in KCPE and went on to score an impressive 409 marks. I completed my standard 8 together with my brother but he has been forced to repeat in class 7 since, can, since my parents are also unable to pay for his fees. Although he was admitted to Lenana School, chances of taking up the opportunity were remote until he heard about the Wings to Fly scholarship that he applied for and was successful. Is this correct? Yes. yes. Today, Menza's mother is preparing peas to be eaten with ugali. It is a delicacy prepared to celebrate Menza's achievement and admission to the Wings to Fly program. In Wasingishu County, Marveline Jeruto Tangus wants to be a surgeon. Reason? She has worked closely with doctors and nurses who are treating her ailing mother since she fell ill seven years ago. <laughs> Marvelin faces the district scholarship selection board in Eldoret Town with confidence. What a chaka new surgeon. We did one of my sector on a video community and bad on a society. I can say what I mean is any new surgeon. I love who we didn't say they're booty with a mamma. At home, the 13 year old girl is the caregiver to her mother. Sukuming is an unsequenced up. When I should lean, Manaka Mamango Kumunus out is out. In the year she registered to see KCPE, Marvelin would stay at home for several consecutive days to nurse her mother. This notwithstanding, however, the young girl scored 367 marks in KCPE. So, I can't talk to doctor. I can't show mama to put a better treatment. Because I'm going to go to the dispensary. I think I end up countries for treatment. In the eastern town of Isiolo is Gideon Ekamaris. A child raised in Arid Ngera Mara location where even building shelter is by a communal effort. Ekamaris was separated from his father at a spate of violence that displaced him from home to live with his aunt and grandmother. In the backdrop of this environment, Ekamaris overcame the physical and psychological odds to earn the Wings to Fly scholarship. My shangu itabadilika. My shangu shida sana. Gideon is a source of inspiration for his community that sees education as a means of escape from the harsh social economic realities of the area. Asante kotere ngaragro bokotere mamudu wa ngubu ya nilo ntokano lu ani rumuri arumuri ya kideni yesukul mamudu wa ngubu ya nilo ke yara sokonder ningependa kuwa wakili ili niwapatanishe niwapatanishe waache kugombania ardhi na mifugo 
Wings to Fly partners observing how the interviews were conducted expressed satisfaction that only the most needy among the applicants received scholarships. I have a quite positive uh, impression of um, the selection process and uh, yes, it was very helpful me to me to, to attend and uh, to learn more about uh, Kenyan reality. In total, 3,000 scholars will benefit from the Wings to Fly program, renewing hope and a promise for a better future of needy but academically gifted Kenyan children. It's been important to see that the level of need is important to see how well the kids have done. In the capital city, Nairobi, Wings to Fly partners accompany DSSB members on home verification visits in Westlands district. Wanjiro welcomed her visitors at the Waruku home with a song that bellied the debilitating poverty in her household. On Christ the solid rock I stand At the grounds are sinking sand during her school life, the diminutive girl astounded colleagues by her superb performance, endearing herself to the whole school community. Some of them would, they, would even carry me and they would pretend that I'm a baby and they were the parents. Although she knew clinching the Wings to Fly scholarship was not certain, Wanjiro was hopeful that a benefactor would see her plight and intervene. I've heard that the equity sponsors still university, so I'm going to go there and do I'm going to study on banking and I hope to join the bank after I finish my, my education. While Wanjiro is confident of clinching the Wings to Fly scholarship, like the other applicants in attendance, she waits with bated breath for the verdict. Happy New Year, Shaline! <laughs> Visiting Shaline's home and really seeing the circumstances under which this little young girl has a uh, you know, uh, studied and passed her exams is something that gives me a lot of uh, hope. And these are the young leaders that uh, we will later have in life under this transformational program. What I also like most about the program is not just about the academics, but the fact that uh, they have a leadership component. Religious leaders who sat in the district scholarship selection boards hailed the Wings to Fly initiative as an answer to a calling by the divine to support the poor and vulnerable. The Pokot community are known of considering girls as sources of income. And I was very happy to see a number of them, even from the most remote areas, coming with children here, that tells us that something is, is really happening. Katika dini ya Kiislamu inahimiza kila mtu kuna hivi ndio mfano ambao kwamba inahimiza dini ya Kiislamu katika kusaidiana na hii ndio mfano ambao kwamba iko pia katika hiyo njia katika kusaidisha wale ambao kwamba siwajiweza katika kutoa mfuko kulingana na kila uwezo wa mtu. Finally, the selected beneficiaries were announced at public forums provoking a variety of emotions. Samuel Joe Kadogo. Mwenye Mungu amenitoa ni mbali sana. Nasikia tu kumshukuru Mungu kwa kuniwezesha kupata hiyo scholarship. The Wings to Fly scholarship program is a partnership between Equity Bank's Equity Group Foundation and the Mastercard Foundation with support from USAID, UK Aid and KFW to provide secondary education to thousands of academically talented children from needy family backgrounds. The comprehensive scholarship caters for school fees, books, uniform, shopping and pocket money as well as leadership. Wings to Fly has a very special place in the foundation, a very special place certainly for me, uh, because we know the power of education and the power of education to transform not just your own life, but also the lives of others. Not just preparing you to go and pass an exam, we are trying to ignite the greatness in you at a tender and early age. Please take it up, because our hopes are on you. Eventually, the selected 2,907 scholars assembled to receive their sponsorship letters from President Mwai Kibaki at a ceremony held at the Moi International Sports Centre Kasarani. The president hailed the initiative as an encouraging interaction between the government and the private sector. As a result of uh, support, from new partners 
the program has close to 9,000 scholarships worth about 75 million US dollars. The event was graced by former president of Botswana, Festus Mogai, who acknowledged the students' resilience and encouraged them to keep pursuing their life goals. He commended Equity Bank for coming up with a needy children initiative that is rare to find on the continent. There are many poor students in all sub-Saharan African countries, but what is lacking is the arrangement whereby an indigenous organization like Equity Bank and Equity Foundation is able to work with communities and thereby be able to select brilliant but genuinely poor students. Addressing the scholars, the German ambassador, Marjit Helvig Bote, said investing in young people is always an investment in the future. Not every gifted child has access to secondary education because many families cannot afford to pay school fees. The Wings to Fly scholarship program of Equity Group Foundation helps to fill this gap. It helps to create more opportunities and more equality in access to higher education. And it is guided by a vision of transforming leadership in Kenya. The British High Commissioner said education is fundamental to economic growth as it brings benefits to individuals and the society. I am confident that the Wings to Fly program will meet and surpass its targets of 10,000 scholarships and I look forward to being part of that. The US Ambassador Robert Godek said his government would continue to support the Wings to Fly initiative and pledge to increase funding. This year, the American people, through the US Agency for International Development, have increased their investment in the Wings to Fly program by $9 million, ensuring that an additional 1,000 students, all of whom are seated here today, will receive further education. close of the event, the scholars made their way to their waiting means of transport to school to start a new chapter in their lives and fulfillment of dreams for better lives. <laughs> <laughs>